you look like you got your hand on one of that those swing passes out to the left and knocked it out. Did I see that right? Yeah, I did. I got one. So you got that. I know you had the interception a few days ago. Yeah. Do you feel like, hey, if I if I I, mean, I know you got to play in play in and play out, you got to do your job. But if I can make a play like that, is that is that a bonus or is, is that just part of the job? Oh. Uh, it's just a part of the job, but um, we try to take it as like little little goals and little things that we can get to, and we try to make it a competition uh, against each other on, on defense. Who can get the most like you know pass deflections or hands up to get a tip ball? How do you think you're doing in that category? Uh, so far, I've got a uh, two tips. Uh, I got all well, that tip today and the interception. So. Uh, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good right now in the, in the, in the race. <laughs> what was going through your mind on that, that pick? Because it looked like you were looking for the end zone all the way as soon as you uh, You know, um, it was situational. Uh, we was going through. So in that situation, uh, at the end of the game, you know, you wanna, if you do get an interception, you want to get down. But uh, just for me, it was just like hype that I got it. So it's just like I just took off running your first instinct. Uh, but you know, coach, it was like that was our situation. So he he would like to me to go down in that situation. So yeah. We've, we've seen you. We've seen you taking some snaps with the one in the last couple practices with Kenny being out. What's what's it like to be to be getting worked in there with your first unit? Oh. Uh, I would think, you know, every rookie would want to, you know, get reps with the ones. But, uh, you know, me, I'm taking it, uh, like, by the, by the neck. And so I'm just trying to really get in and really work with the ones, you know, communicate with Dean and Tyler because we're both in there because uh, Kiki and uh, uh, Kenny's not going. So just like you're just trying to get acclimated, you're trying to play at their speed, and, you know, you're just trying to really go. And it's the ones, so, you know, you're trying to go as hard as you can just so you could prove that you fit, like, you know, I'm here. So uh, that's all I've been trying to do is just make sure I have the things down and make sure I can get all our adjustments right and correct. So, you know, just play hard when you're out there, especially when you're going against the ones you want to play hard and kind of put your dominance out there. So that's who, that's all it is. How do you feel it's, how do you feel it's going? Uh, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, just like the biggest part for me right now is just like really, you know, playing with my hands and getting off the ball, uh, make sure I get the, the, you know, the Y modes and the, when, when the tight end um, motions off and just make sure you just get the, the little formations and the little like changes that they do. You just got to communicate with the guys down the line and, you know, we all on the same page. I think Dean said a couple days ago you actually dunked in flip flops in the meeting room or something like that. I actually wasn't in flip flops. I was in a pair of very flat bands. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what? What made you do that? What was sort of the the impetus for? Oh no, nah, you know, every day before uh, Divas a team meeting, like everybody just we have a rim in there, so everybody's just shooting, shooting yeah. around, and then you know, I just went up there and just dunked it, like. <laughs> And then everybody seen it, and they was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, did he just do that? And you know, uh, they was just asking me to do it again, so. TJ, I think it was when we talked to you during rookie mini camp, you said you're expecting it to be freezing cold in March when, when you got here? Yeah, I was expecting it to be super cold when I got here. <laughs> which, is, which is worse, the South Florida heat or, or what you're in today? Uh, Florida heat, South Florida heat, like without a chance. It's like uh, a couple guys came up to me today and that's just like, it's hot outside. Like, are you hot? Like, you real hot? It's like, come on, man. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Florida. This is nothing. <laughs> so I know you haven't played. You haven't even gotten a chance to play in a preseason game yet. But from yeah. what you've experienced so far, what to you is the biggest difference in the trenches between the college game and what you're doing now? It's faster. The tempo is faster. I I could definitely say that. That's the the biggest part. Uh, it's not really harder. It's just that you just got to be you, you know, and like the position that you play, it, you got to just play with a lot of aggression and you got to be off the ball. But I just say that like the biggest turn, and I, I felt it coming out of high school too. So it's just it's just the speed changes, like how fast it, just how fast it is. And you just got to try to just like fight to get up to that tempo. So that's all it is. When it, come, when it just comes to that, like, you know, you just got to fight to pick up and keep up with the tempo of the guys who've already been here, who's been through it already. How hard so. is it to give maximum effort as often as you possibly can as a big guy? Seems like it would be a challenge. We always hear about a lot of guys. Oh, no, nah, it's not hard because you control your effort, you know. So you just, you got to go. 
Like, you know, you're in this league and, you know, you got a chance to make it and make a career. You, there is no, oh, I got to wait or, oh, coach, he was holding me. You just, you got to go. You got to give all out until he call you out. How is Kenny helping you make that transition? You just referenced that the speed is probably the hardest thing to work, but as having a vet like Kenny, how are you utilizing that in the locker room? Uh, you know, he uh, talks, you know, he talks, he, help, he helps, helps me out uh, with the little things, you know, just uh, how to be able to, uh, like, cheat a block or tighten your alignment down or widen out, you know, just the little things that he just makes to help you play faster. So you just want to take those little things, and when you hit the field, you're trying to put them in into your game as much as possible. So he's, he's pretty good on that one. Have you had a moment where you're like, Wow, this is the NFL, the next level. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, that was my first day uh, in OTAs. And it was like, even though it was us rookies just here, it was still like, wow, like I'm, I'm in the NFL now and I'm on this team out of all teams. So it pretty it hits you pretty early. So uh, just me thinking about that, it's just like, wow, like I'm finally here. Like, been eight years, eight long years, you've been working from high school to college, and then you finally make it, and it's just like you get to put on that helmet. It's just like, wow. So that's pretty much it. What's, uh, what's Coach Montgomery on you the most about? Uh, he's mostly on me about, you know, turning and running to the ball. You know, that's, that's our uh, standard of our defense. So it's just like that's why I say, like, the speed of the game, you know, especially when you have Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback. He's getting the ball out so fast in the middle of your rest. And you got to turn, and you got to look forward to where it's going. So, uh, but he's mostly on more me about my hands. You know, my hands coming out of my hips, going vertical in our blocks, uh, and just you know, just like the the things that he always be on. But like, I like it though. You know, I embrace it. Like, I want him to do that. So, I never fight him on anything. I just try to listen to all the things that he's telling me and just correct them day after day.